Right, so... Oh, why can't I not? Oh, there we go. So, I've been busy. Uh, as you can tell from the jerkiness, uh, there's a lot of lag. Um, I need to finish the back, it's not quite done. Um, along with everything else I have to do, I decided to put in a little time building this. This should be two scale, or actually I think the Nebulon B is supposed to be a bit smaller. Uh, compared to what I've seen in Return of the Jedi. But yeah, this should be pretty close at least. At least this is the scale I want to use for the Imperial Star Destroyer. Yeah. It's not big at all. <laughs> Look at this thing. And this is just a hull. And there's a Titan Ninja for the size comparison. And yep. <laughs> Look how much room there is inside of here. It's ridiculous. Now, you might be wondering, well, what the heck is this? This is actually something I found on the Steam Workshop. This is a little bitty version of the Imperial Star Destroyer. And I gotta say, I like it. It's well detailed. It has lots of guns. And it's functional. It's very nice for it being so tiny. Little reactors and cargo, batteries. Cryo, Myth Medical, then the hangar, which is actually a lot bigger than it looks. And you have various buttons that'll work. Just don't know, this is probably just turn on. Uh, projectors that are rotating. Okay. I don't know. But yeah, this is not bad at all. It's rather nicely detailed a huge amount of gyros very obviously you gotta go through here to get the rest of the ship you get a giant hallway I mean it feels kind of imperial too I mean this is very nice there's a jump drive hiding in the middle. oh there's three jump drives up up I see a mistake there oh well I can give him a pass <laughs> There's an antenna hiding inside. That's awesome. Yeah. This is a vanilla ship, I believe. And it's pretty small overall. But it's incredibly detailed. Yeah, look at this. This guy went nuts. And it works. This works. Only problem is, uh, well, I need a different ship. So I'm using this and claiming that this behemoth is going to be the uh, size comparison for this, which is just that, but I finished the back and I t am taking it up a notch by changing it to a new ship. So if we take a look at the size very quickly because I want to delete the one because lag so it's 81 and this is that glorious like 250 or something like that That's accurate. Da, 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 da. About two hundred seventy nine, so eighty to two hundred seventy nine. What in the hell? Oh, I know what it is. So yeah, I basically just wanted to get rid of something to uh, make it easier on my computer because my computer doesn't like it too much. So what I'm what I'm doing with this thing is I'm building the uh, Paltech class ship. 
Polytech class is my own design. Obviously, it's a lot bigger than an Imperial Star Destroyer. About three and a half times bigger. So yeah, it's about three and a half times bigger than an Imperial Star Destroyer. So, the Politech is supposed to be a super heavy battleship. Uh, so if that is an Imperial Star Destroyer, the reactor is way bigger, obviously, and the main, the secondary hangar rather, is bigger than the main hangar on an Imperial Star Destroyer. So that's supposed to be the secondary fighter hangar. Which is like twice this size, or more than that. Let's actually measure it real quick here. Fifteen by twenty. Fifteen by twenty. And this, I believe, is eight. Yep, eight by eight. So that that one's fifteen by twenty. So it would be. Two and three, so, or no, two and a half. And that's the internal side of the sign as well, so. is the inside of that side, so... I it's important. So that's the size of that, right? Compared to a normal Imperial Star Destroyer. So, it's about... Th the whole ship is about th uh, two and a uh, three and a half times bigger. So it's three and a half times bigger. You know... It's basically supposed to be 5,500 meters long. I'm not going to make something 5.5 kilometers. I've got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to delete this so if we even have a computer, I'll catch you later. Hey YouTube Gundam here, welcome back to Space Engineers! I'm going to give a little update today after various things in EVE Online, Star Trek Online, and other things. Um, I'm finally back to get ready to do a video in Space Engineers. Before I go off to bed today. Um, this is just a little update on what I've been up to for a while. Um, this, however, is not my build. This is a very nice build. It's very well detailed, and the inside is ridiculous. I mean, the inside on this, the detailing, it, this is amazing. It's tiny as well. I mean, look at this. Look at these engines. I mean, it's puny. It's insanely well detailed. And you know right from the get-go, this is a Star Destroyer. This is an Imperial Star Destroyer. And look at that, that's it, that's an engine. There's your bridge. Except for, it's kinda of supposed to go the other way, down, then up, or, yeah, you know. Um, this thing is tiny. You have the anti-fire weapons here, however, they did forget the little bit there and the bigger bit there that's on the actual ship, and uh, especially from Rogue One, one of my favorite things in Rogue One, a hammerhead corvette goes up to the bit that's about here, right in front of the main hangar. So, yeah, around right about there. Um, and uses one Star Destroyer to cut another Star Destroyer off. <laughs> well, cut the head off. <laughs> um, yeah. <coughs> However, I wanted to build something for a long time. It's nowhere near complete. But this is a standard Imperial Star Destroyer. Size comparison to the other thing I'm building, okay? So do you get that? This is size comparison of a regular Star Destroyer to what I'm building. A regular Imperial Star Destroyer, 1600 meters long, just one mile in length, if it were full scale. Obviously, it's not. 
Well, the real way to tell the size is just look at the rocket turrets. I mean, but yes, if this were full size, it would be a mile long. Okay? Then there's this. This is the Paltech class dreadnought. Well, mini dreadnought, really. It's super heavy battleship or mini dreadnought. Take your pick. It's way bigger. And unlike the Executor, which has a rather small main bridge, this thing's bridge is about the same size as an Imperial Star Destroyer. Or is it? You see, I'm not done with the outside, by the way. I still need to do the bits on here. I intend to make it similar in size so you get an idea again. But, um, yeah. Let's take a look at octuplets, by the way. Where's the smallest octuplet? This little guy. Hello, little baby. Little Babby. Number seven, I believe. So, if these are the same octuplets. Nope. Six. Yep. Alright. That looks much better. Look at that. So, the smallest, the three by threes. Are the octuplets. So if you see any 3x3 three three octuplets, these little things on this, they're exactly the same as on a regular Imp Star Dupes. Alright, just for size comparison. If that's a main Imperial Star Destroyer's battery, well, one of them, that's how tiny it is to this. Okay? I'm going to try to keep it size comparison because that's what I'm going off of here. So, let me show you around this thing. The Paltech Super Heavy Battleship. First off, you'll notice I have indentations, but there's more of them. Now, each one of these is supposed to be bigger than the one in the Imperial Star Destroyer. Slightly longer and significantly farther in. Where that one was barely there, this one is much bigger. Obviously, the bridge has been redesigned. Uh, besides the sheer size, there's no neck in the back. And there's this little thing here. Also, there's a gap. And this gap is huge. Again, if that's a regular Imperial Star Destroyer, this gap is big enough to fit in some Corvettes. Like uh, the Tan Type 4, for example. You know, this is a huge gap. So a fighter, or actually the Millennium Falcon is about this size. Except for way smaller, of course. You know, it's flatter. Because the Millennium Falcon is not a cube. It's kind of a dish. So. This, Paltech class Super Heavy Battleship. Or Mini Dreadnought. I'll call it a Super Heavy Battleship. I will be putting shield domes on. There's me. I will be sh putting shield domes on that are roughly this size. So, about two blocks high and similar in shape uh, the antenna that's on the top I don't think I'll be adding but I will be adding shield domes that look like that so if you see anything that looks like this it's a shield dome I'll be leaving this here for uh, so you can see it in comparison <coughs> now what other features well you know how this has its hanger and there is supposed to be another hanger here but he couldn't add it in because in the front, this is actually the cryopod. So, yeah, there's supposed to be a fighter hanger around here. He doesn't have it. Me? There's three massive hangers. Each one of the two rear hangers is nearly big enough to hold an Imperial Star Destroyer. I'm trying to hide the sun there, it's not easy. Maybe if I do this instead. Hey, look at that. Imperial Star Destroyer. The hanger on this thing. That's big enough. I mean, that is about the size of a Nebulon Bay Frigate. I think you could probably hold a few of them next to each other. That you might be able to fit a Victory Star Destroyer in. Maybe. I actually, I don't think you'd be able to fit a Venator. But if it was a little skinnier, you could fit in a Victory. So, yeah. And there's the reactor dome. Uh, 
the reactor dome on this thing is next to nothing. The reactor dome on this is ridiculous. Look at the size. In comparison, again, so I mean, it's huge. Now, with this, imagine the firepower I can pack onto this thing. It's supposed to be. Look at how much bigger it is, okay? It's enormous. So, with it being so much bigger, you know. And yeah, what, the obvious feature is this, which I'm gonna. Normally, Star Destroyers don't have much firepower in the back. I mean, you Star Destroyers have firepower on this wedge, so that way, if you are a target right here, you are mincemeat. They get everything shooting at you. Not this thing. This has this for two main reasons. One, a lot of guns in the back. And two, what do you think this is? And it's on the bottom as well. If you guessed gravity well generator, you're right. And this is identical in size to the bigger ones on my interdiction cruiser. I actually just sat that thing above it and then just copied it. So yeah, this is the obvious thing from the front, from the side. Is that giant uh, thing sticking out the side there? But other than that. And the size. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you can take a look at something of the size of this. Take a look at these. These are not quite equally spaced, but somewhat. If I were to take one of these, actually, I'll be right back. All right. That took a little bit longer than I thought. So uh, first off, I decided to put in for size the shoe generators that are on the uh, <coughs> Imperial. But second, I wanted to show you a true comparison on the size. So slightly longer than four of them. Just call it uh, maybe 6,800 meters, 7,000 meters. So yes, compared to the Executor, for example, is not even close. But 7,000 meters. There is a, a Praetor 2, I think, or something like that, um, or was it Mandator? I think there's a Praetor. Yeah, I think in Thrawn's Revenge, there's a Praetor Battlecruiser. I know there's a Battlecruiser, the, the one Battlecruiser that has those two, well, that one very large cylinder at the back. It's a bigger, bulkier ship, um, I've thrown a picture of it, but of uh, what I'm talking about. But that thing is believed to be either four or six thousand meters. Um, so this thing would be about seven. So it's a bit bigger. Except for that thing is fat. So by the way, I want to show you this to truly give you an idea on the size. There's the engines. First, what do you think of the engine configuration? Ten really big engines. Six medium sized engines and eight smaller engines. Small, medium, and large. And I don't have the large, obviously. <coughs> um, and uh, no, I am not done with the outside in the slightest. And I haven't even touched the inside. Except for these. A few gyros to help it. And reactors here. Uh, I think there's a cargo unit. I a uh, few reactors and gyros just to keep it from spinning. However, I only have engines pointing in reverse, just these, and forward, those on the opposite side, with Titan engines, because Titan engines are awesome. But yeah, those are Titan engines, okay? This is not small. This isn't even close to being small. Uh, yeah. So, um, <coughs> I'm going to leave one of these here, just so you get a comparison. I'll probably leave, uh, I'll give me some room. And leaving this at the front is actually better, so you can tell where. So yeah. This is perfectly synced with the front, or actually I think it's one block back because I had a block there. So yeah, it is one block back. My apologies. Um, I had to break a window to get in. So, And I did turn off these guns because they were shooting at the other ship, so... Mm. 
So, um, yeah, it's not big at all. Oh, man, what guns am I going to stick on this thing? So you can tell from the front, the top, and the bottom, and the sides, whose team it's on. But not the back. But again, I am not done. Alright, just paint this whole thing in the back blue. You know, and that's your team color. So it'd be a lot of painting if you have to change team. And, uh, yeah, those hangers aren't big at all. Uh, literally, each hanger is like ten times the size of that. For those two, and that one's five times. Or whatever, on the inside. Um, they'd probably stick in a bit. I'm, I'm going to do a bit here and there and stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am not going to do an interior. Uh, excuse me. I will say this. What do you think the bridge is going to be? Here? Right in the middle like it is on Imperial Star Destroyers? I'm going to tell you right now. The guy who designed this, moi, isn't stupid. This is the flight deck hanger. Uh, the flight deck bridge, excuse me. The actual main bridge will be here. Alright, that's going to be the main bridge. This will be the flight bridge. Alright, and there will be a secondary bridge, so unlike the executor, if you knock out the main bridge, it still works. I'm going to be sticking something around here, something there, something there. I have a lot of work to do on this thing. But again, it's, around, it's supposed to be around 7,000 meters long, a little under, maybe 6,800, so yeah. I do not want to say 69, because it's not a sex thing. This is a ship. Well, okay. It's a ship that will tear you a new one, or as that one thing says, blow your load all over your insides or something like that. There's this one Vegeta thing of um, the guys who redub it, and Vegeta looks at, uh, what was that pink thing when they were on uh, Namek? There's that pink, uh, horny horned pink big fat thing um with frieza and the redub vegeta grabs him puts his hands up to the back and says i'm gonna blow my load all over your insides yeah <laughs> funny as hell but um yeah <laughs> not really for this <laughs> so keep an eye out for this and um by the way ooh, what is that large iron can <coughs> I use these and claim that they're turbo, uh, heavy turbo lasers because the others aren't really that big. Well, then again, on this the mini Death Star Super <laughs> this thing is just yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's it's so big. This I'm not going to configure everything up. I'm not gonna really do an interior. It's big enough as it is. <sighs> This is ridiculous. This thing is about big, but this thing is insanely detailed. But it, look at the size. It's tiny. Right, where's that red ship? You, the infamous red ship. <laughs> Are you serious? Is this actually... Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's it's not much bigger. I'm gonna leave these. I'm just gonna leave them here so you can see it. This is ridiculous. And look at this. This isn't the smallest ship. I don't think it's the biggest. Uh, What's that? The game devs made. It is well detailed, but there's not much really of an interior. Uh, this has an insane interior, especially in the main hangar. I really like this. Uh, I have a lot of work to do if I want to do anything like that for that thing. So I'm probably just going to do the outside and, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So, yeah, I will uh, see you all later. This is ridiculous. So, yeah, this is what I've been up to. I've been uh, building this behemoth. Um, and I will be using something like this, the exact shape, actually, for my Imperial Star Destroyer remake eventually. But, uh... That's on the back burner. It took me months just to get back to Space Engineers, so, yeah. Look at these engines. I love these engines. There's the engine configuration for this. You know, the three big, the four small. Um, each one of the big ones on there is smaller than these, so. Or, 
Yeah, it is. Well, mm, if you cut here and then push this out to here, it's the same size. Or, no, it is smaller. This is two. That's three. That one would be like that. Uh, da, 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 da. And stick out more. Or, or, excuse me. It's not like that. I think it's like this. I forgot that I reconfigured it recently. Just trying to make everything work. That is the engine. So it's way bigger. It's about twice the size for those ones that are holding. Oops. The Titan engines. So it is way bigger. But not as detailed, obviously. So yeah. Just these small engines are bigger than the big engines on that. And then these things are much bigger. And then these, well, yeah. Um, I might go far as to say that these are the engines on the Executor. Actually, yeah. I think they would be. The Executor being about two and a half times bigger. And the configure. Yeah, these are identical to the engines on the Executor. There's 10 of these, and the Executor is 13. Think on that. If these are... I, I, I'm, I, I'm doing a lore and can't, uh, stuff for this. I'm going to call this a legend ship, my own design. Um, if these are Executor engines, the Executor has 13. This thing has 10. You do realize that this being less than half the size of the executor yet having nearly the same engine power this thing's gonna go like a rocket and that is actually part of the design that i wanted it to be fast not just fast but maneuverable agile with a ton of guns and a buttload of shields and a gravity well now of course the question is power but well i, I work on the lore later for now um, yeah, basically multi-purpose, kill everything, vessel, and I, by the way, my lore intends for it to have a cloaking device, so, <laughs> just saying, it should have a cloak in my lore, <laughs> catch you later.